dating all, all off season, we've been talking about these transfers that come in and Aiden Williams and uh, Trey Harris and Zakari and, and all these guys. Do, do you feel like you're being underrated and, and what do you see your role as with this team? Uh, I don't really mind. Uh, last year I was in a similar spot. You know, I came in, I walked through, media wasn't giving me no attention, no anything like that. So it ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. We got, at the end of the day, we got to put the ball down and players make plays. So I don't really put too much thought into it. I just play ball. One of the leaders in that wide receiver group, what have you seen from Braylon? He was just in here a minute ago. What have you seen from him in terms of his development over the last year or so? Uh, so he really kind of hit every point, really. Uh, playmaking ability, everything, when it comes to playing ball, he had it. It was just the, the small things, you know, beating yourself up, uh, knowing what to do, the too much thinking, you know. Uh, game speed and real speed is totally different. Like, you go out on the track, you can run 10-1, and you sliding, but you get on the football field, you running slow, you like, dang, what's going on? It's because you don't really understand what's going on in the game. So for basically what he was saying was his game speed has increased. You know what I'm saying? That comes with knowing what to do. And then with him being able to play multiple positions, it made it even better because you got to understand the whole field versus just partially of what you're doing. What does it mean for guys like Braylon and even JJ and Jalen who are kind of up in their reps and getting time, especially with Jordan, kind of dealing with something not in the mix right now, to, to the depth of the room? How do you feel that is this year, maybe even compared to, to last season? Last year, it would have been like, oh, man, like, really need like we don't we can't afford that right now but not saying like oh yeah we can afford injuries because nobody wants injuries or anything you know what I'm saying but like at, at this point it's like okay we cool we got somebody we got the next man up mentality you know what I'm saying so for the time being it it helps the the younger guys the guys who don't really get that much reps or anything it helps them get reps so they can better understand the options and give them more of an opportunity to play and whatnot and that puts uh Luckily, Jay Watt, he a vet, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't really too much he really missing out on. So we just need to get him healthy, you know what I'm saying? So it just gives everybody, like, others more opportunities to show what they can do. What's it been like watching Aiden Williams kind of shine over the – Great. Like, for, now, for him to come in and, and move and, and do the things that he do, you know what I'm saying? You know, well, I, from a player perspective, sometimes it get repetitive going against the same people over and over and over again, and you keep beating them, and it's like, ah, oh, but you you go out there, you, you win, and it's like you you get you a few sons out there, you know what I'm saying? You come, you become you a, a big dog. He he put his imprint early, you know what I'm saying? I I like that about him. Like he's a great ball player, and he don't got a big head, you know what I'm saying? He always willing to learn. He wanna observe. Like he he a true receiver, you know what I'm saying? So that's a great thing about him. Um, I noticed you were in here while he, he, he was talking about A.J. Brown coming and speak to you guys. Uh, were you here for that as well? And, and yeah, did that kind of resonate with you? Yeah, he spoke with us like as a receiver group, and they had their individual talk. But I was kind of already in that mindset, you know, coming from the, the things that I've been through, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I've been working for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I already knew, like, head down, keep going, you know what I'm saying? Like if you really want it, it ain't. It ain't gonna happen like this for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's story different, you know what I'm saying? So if your story take a little more grit, then go get it, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if this was something that we asked you in the spring or not, but it seemed like, you know, last year, although the losses piled up, it seemed like you were playing your best ball um, outside. Just kind of what worked so well for you personally la toward the end of last year, and, you know, I guess what exactly from that has really carried over to this time around? Is it just, just being part of this offense for as long as you have? Uh, you talking about like production and whatnot? Uh, I feel as though like earlier in the season, I wasn't really, you know, they wasn't really sure about me, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't get recruited to come here, you know what I'm saying? So they wasn't really paying too much attention to me. They was just paying attention to like what they brought aboard. But then when I start showing up in film and whatnot, you know, coaches do their job. They watch from them. They like, oh, hold on, we might have us one, you know what I'm saying? So as the season progressed, they start seeing like, okay, we can use him way more, you know what I'm saying? So. Towards the, I would say like towards the end of the season, they like, okay, these are his strengths, you know what I'm saying? So let's play towards his strengths and then like try to exploit his strengths now. So right now, I say we are on the verge of just like exploiting what I'm good at, you know what I'm saying? Put me in positions to win, like things like that. How would you assess your camp so far? What are some things you're excelling at? What are some things you still need to work on? Uh, so, uh, ah, whatever. Uh, so I, I've been paying out lot, you know what I'm saying? I was at the one out of the four, you know what I'm saying? But uh. This week, they just was like, hey, go in the slot. You know what I'm saying? So I've been in the slot, so that's just been a transition for me. It's not complicated or anything. Like, I understand the playbook. I know the plays and whatnot. It's just going back and forth. Like, I'll be 
out wide one place, then I'll be in the slot one place, then I'll be out wide one place. So it's just like I'm thinking, of, not thinking of well, yeah, I'm thinking a lot. My mind got to be, I got to be quick. You know what I'm saying? And then with being a leader, it's and then having like younger guys and new new players on the field, I got to communicate with them too. So we'll all be on the same page. So a uh, thing I could say I could get better at is I could be more efficient. You know what I'm saying? Efficient with understanding what's going on and like. I could be quicker, you know what I'm saying, when, when it comes to analyzing things, seeing the defense and things like that to make my job easier so I won't just have to out-athlete everybody. I can just go back to out-smart, out with you, you know what I'm saying? And and for the whole room, what has what Derek Nick kind of been pushing as uh, the room as a whole just to work on and get better at? As a whole, I, he don't really, we don't really uh, have, we, we kind of go day by day, you know what I'm saying? So. Whatever we, we 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 say say one day we like ah oh, you dropping the ball we had, we had a absurd amount of drops today then that's gonna be a point of emphasis like okay say uh, we missing blocks we ain't holding on to our blocks too long that's gonna be a point of emphasis the next day so we kind of do it like that we don't really just be like and of course our motto we we call ourselves playmakers so we gonna make plays you know what I'm saying so it's just we just try to clean up the little things so they don't come back and bite us later on down the road. Appreciate y'all.